really there isn't much more that we like than ancient buildings and beer breweries. So this is the old Carlsberg factory. The uh, entire complex is from around 1881 and it's been lovingly restored. There's a series of different shops and accommodation but we went down and went to the Air Ancient Baths which is wow. You can't really film in there so I'm only giving you a very brief glimmer of one of the most restful and magical places I've ever gotten to experience in my life. Now, if we're talking about the things you must do when you're in Copenhagen, obviously you need to see town and the best way to see that town is actually from the water. Now, this was a surprise for Andrew. So he actually just thought we were going down to the bakery and we did. We went down to a bakery and I bought some little treats. They even snuck in a little birthday cake in a bag that he wasn't going to find out till much later. And we then proceeded to go and walk down to the Friendships Company, which basically is a company that will loan you a boat. So here we are. Do we know what we're doing? We have no idea what we're doing. But hey, I know how to read a map. I don't think we're going to hit our head. There's no guarantees, but it, it definitely has all of those little bridges on it and we're everything. Definitely allowed up here. We're definitely allowed up here. One way. Go in the middle. Don't break anything. Listen, it's on the map. I think I might duck anyway. Okay, well, you do that. So we are on a boat ride uh, in Copenhagen with Friendship's boats um, for Andrew's birthday and it is very very still and quiet and so beautiful. What do you think birthday boy? I haven't crashed yet. <laughs> There's this... a little sauna. Where? Where? Just there behind you. Huh, little sauna. We could get one of those from the backyard, but I just don't think... The thing that I find mind-blowing is that we didn't need to have a lesson or a license or anything. You just had to be over 18 and not drunk. And it's 10 in the morning, so I think they're just assuming no one's drunk. Also, nobody checked that I was over 18, but I suppose that's just wishful thinking on my part. Honestly, it really feels like there should be a boating lesson before we are allowed to pilot this thing through this thing. This bridge is alright? The canal's a bit tight. Mm. Maybe this might have some ties there. Yeah. The scalp marks on the wall. They're expecting a bumpy bumpy? Well, those rocks protrude. Alright. Okay. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. Yes! Go, da, da. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Layla. Happy birthday, dear Tata. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. <laughs> hip. Hooray for me. Yay. Happy birthday.
obviously navigating traffic and uh, we just we had to stop we're about to be hit by a van It's just so amazingly still and quiet, although Andrew did have an arch nemesis. It was his tour boat. He just hated it. I did like how this little boathouse was so different to the Carlsberg factory we'd seen in the morning, but it was nice to see that it was celebrated all the same. The bridge is moving. Is it rotating? It it's rotating. And then it was time to stop for lunch. And then after lunch, another exercise of appreciating great Copenhagen architect, we went to the Lego store. That is where we appreciated the architecture inside the Lego store. In fact, isn't this where we had lunch?